Verdingkinder, it is a word that even many Swiss people do not know, and those who know are afraid of it. As a dictionary meaning, we can translate it as contracted child. But in reality, a lot of pain is hidden in the meaning of this word. Verdingkinder, it is a symbol of an undesirable fact in the social history of Switzerland. It is famous for its cheese, chocolate, alpines and Heidi, who runs barefoot in the Alpine Mountains. Free and rich Switzerland, from the end of the 18th century to the beginning of the 1960s, was the practice area of a rare form of child labor exploitation. In the middle of Europe, children were sold in private markets, like the slave trade. In Switzerland, where democracy exists and human rights and freedoms exist, it was accepted that this was a slavery system but with the law enacted in 1974. This subject has become a taboo that Switzerland hesitates to talk about for many years. While agriculture was not yet mechanized in the 18th century and could only be done with human labor, in order to meet the cheap labor of farms in Switzerland, the state and the church developed a different method. Verding kinder, contracted child workers. Children of those who owed debts to the state, divorced couples, poor families and people from different ethnic backgrounds, children whose parents died or whose families were in prison were placed with other families to work, under the pressure of the state and the church. Children, some of whom were not even four years old, were rented to families or sold at children's markets in cities. These children, often bought by farm owners who needed cheap labor, were separated from their parents, never to be seen again. From that moment on, no one would listen to children's problems anymore, if they were raped or tortured. These children did not eat with other family members. Many were mistreated and subjected to psychological and physical abuse by their new families. School education was a dream for many, even among those children who died because they did not see a doctor when they were sick. The fact that these children lived barefoot with animals in the barns became an unquestioned part of social life. Because they were seen as children who were rescued from their bad parents by state policy and achieved freedom. In the 1920s, 20% 20 of all agricultural workers were these child workers. Between 1920 and 1970 the number of these children is estimated to be more than 100,000. In an interview held in Biel, Switzerland, on February 13, 2012, some Verdingkinder witnesses described their lives as follows. Johan, they would never let me eat with them in the kitchen at the table. I lived in a windowless cottage next to the house and ate there my dinner. Werner, in the winter they sewed my trouser pockets, I couldn't put my hands in my pockets. They say if you work, you'll get hot. Alice, when I started school I was very happy because no one was hitting me at school. It is stated that the Swiss writer Johanna Spyri drew attention to Verdingkinder in her novel Heidi, which is one of the most read children's books even today, and whose films and cartoons were shot. These children played a very important role in the development of Switzerland. Both the state and the farm owners have increased their wealth with the exploitation of these children. The official apology for the Verdingkinder exploit was made by the Swiss government only on April 11, 2013. A note written in the diary of the exhibition opened recently in Zurich, Switzerland, about these children, explained the situation very well. Have these happened in our free and rich country? I am really sad. You can subscribe to our channel for the continuation of our videos. Thanks for your time.